well, this worked out pretty well, huh? Deacon was getting rid of his kids' beds, and we needed somewhere to sleep. It's like fate, if fate were, you know, kind of boring. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, we are back in business. Uh, Doug. Whoa. Okay, we're on casters here. That's why you just gotta pull in. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh my God. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. What did I land on? Boys in the hood. This is ridiculous. Let's just keep the beds apart for tonight and we'll figure something else out for tomorrow, okay? <sighs> Doug, are you crying? <laughs> what I want to know, if he's really the gardener, why is he spending so much time inside Mrs. Mania's house? This guy's got the goods on everybody in the neighborhood. Did you know Mrs. Maynard was canoodling with the gardener? Who? Mrs. Maynard from across the street with the invisible braces and the jailbird nephew. I thought we were gonna play dominoes. Sorry, Mickey, but this stuff is just too juicy to pass up. Ferrigno's gossip has cast a spell over me. <laughs> Molly told you she had a DVA to accept him? Sounds like an old-fashioned no job to me. I knew Marlene didn't have a deviated septum. I'm leaving. Do me a favor. Go out the back door. I don't want that maniac thinking we're a couple. <laughs> hey, I found this in the garage. We can use it to tie the beds together. And <clears throat> with the extra, if I happen to find myself alone with the angry headmistress. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds great. Um, about the beds. Yeah. Just tossing out ideas here. Um, I was just thinking maybe while we have them, maybe we could just keep the beds apart. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I really, I had a great night's sleep last night. And I sailed through the day at work, so I was just thinking, you know, <laughs> but we're married. Aren't married people supposed to... Yes, yes, of course. And we will sleep together again once we get a new bed. But I was just thinking this might be a little fun, you know? Come on. You have your own bed. You can do whatever you want. Watch TV, clip your toenails, fire up the hibachi. <laughs> really? I mean, I could do anything I want over here? Absolutely. Could I, uh... <laughs> ain't my bed, ain't my business. Huh. And if you want some company for a change of pace, you can just come over to my place or I can go over to your place, bada bing, bada boom, and then it's just back to our own beds. You don't even have to phone in the cuddling. I'm falling in love with you all over again. So it's a deal then, right? It's a deal. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you want to get a little busy right now? Bring it, Butch. <sighs> 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 Pleasure doing business with you.